guys, it's so great to see you and um, thank God for these uh, technologies that allow us to connect from afar. This time, last year I was in Jerusalem and uh, this year, unfortunately, this is the only way I can participate. So I want to say thank you for inviting me into the conversation. We just filmed some uh, dancing from the new creation. So it was interesting to see it uh, recorded and to have zoom in to some of the moments of the, of the new piece. Actually, what was nice about it that uh, suddenly we had some people recording and this was our audience. So it was our first audience actually. And this is very crucial because we like to have audience. We are doing it to an audience. So suddenly we had somebody to relate to. So yeah, it was nice. We were working together, I believe, and as a company, and so much has happened in between and since then, and I'm just kind of wondering how you feel about the 15 years looking back, and would you have done anything different? Since we started, so many things happen, and like, I think I told you once, like, uh, I feel like our beginning was quite natural or kind of rolled by itself. We never really made a decision like from today on we're going to have a company and work together. We started in a very low scale and, and slowly things just happened one after the other and we got like from within like the very strong sensation that something is very meaningful and, and kind of keep on feeding us. And also from the outside, there was a very good feedback. We got invitations and we got opportunities and, and something told us like, this is interesting, continue. I think, uh, I think the, yeah, the key word that Odette says, uh, process of growing is very important uh, because I feel that with each collaboration we have done, uh, it's to go deeper. And uh, one of the things that I like most about when we work together, it's about we raise questions, we reflect about what we have done already, where do we want to be. So there's a lot of dialogue also before we are even doing anything. And this dialogue, it's, uh, it's very fruitful. It allows you to, to uh, process things that you do. They don't just happen. You understand that you have um, an opportunity to decide how you're going to shape what you do. And this is very interesting for me. Um, how are the two roles divided? Are they divided? Um, I feel like we are di very different and at the same time we are sharing we are sharing a very similar like artistic point of view. Like many times when something is like really good in my eyes, Yossi finds it immediately interesting and sparking and, and then there is a lot of gray zones of in between of things uh, that I uh. think is better and he thinks like Let's go to the other way. And I think there's also a natural way of like letting the other deal with some stuff in the creation process. Sometimes we know already that the other one has really good eye for certain things. So it's like, it's like maybe with a kid, when you allow the kid do something, uh, so we, we, we allow also space for each other to do things. So of course, sometimes we are on the same spot working on something. Maybe we have also conflicts, but at the same time, we, we know already that each has like um, certain things he's good at and strengths. So we try to emphasize that and to let it be. Sometimes uh, uh, um, a frame of creation, though it's we are doing creating a show, it still uh, puts us in a very fragile place. You want to feel safe in an environment where you can show weakness and where you can expose yourself and. And these are the places where, where I feel that where we let it be between us, between our dancers, this is where things reveal themselves. This is where we find good material, interesting material. And this is, relates to what you said about being personal and also at the same time it's still universal. And then many people can relate to that because it's about how people feel. And though sometimes people are different, some emotions and some uh, things that we all carry are the same. We have the same things that make us a, a human being, basically. I'm wondering also, following the world politics and, you know, 
Israel, in Israel, it's always something happening, and uh, <laughs> the art world is very political. How is the situation for dancers, uh, dance artists uh, in Israel today, and for the two of you in particular? Very much, very much in movement. Very much in movement. I feel like in the beginning, there was a, the first phase was very much like a tragedy. I remember like. A, we were just about to start like a war tour with our recent piece When Love Walked In and there was so many places, uh, North America, South America, Europe, the Far East. We had three different tours to China planned. So there was a, like a shock very, in the beginning. A very big uh, grief and a loss feeling like something we've built so much and, and worked so hard to get it. Suddenly everything is canceled and I really remember like we started to get all the emails, this festival is cancelled and this festival is cancelled and you, we couldn't believe this is happening. And then there was kind of a letting go, okay, this is not just our problem, it's a worldwide problem and it's like, like suddenly everything, everything got into this lockdown and we felt like, okay, there is other things. Found your new work. <laughs> what can you tell us about that? It felt interesting that though we are in a situation that we are saying, okay, why dance? Why do what we do? but we are still dancing, we are still doing what we are doing. We are like emphasizing that we are dealing with the body. The body has a lot of power, a lot of strength, a lot of history, and we are putting the body in the center of that. So It was important also for both of us to dance in this period, kind of like to really go through the dance through our body and, and not to stay passive. Like really I feel like the need to go into the studio, to sweat, to feel other bodies, to touch, like to to work out was even more stronger uh, it, it was even stronger than than ever dance is a strong force of life while what's happening on the other side and i feel like it's very relevant for our, how we experienced the last period of like if we don't go to the studio if we don't do what we love how do we feel like very much dead and if we go to the studio i mean I, we really felt like going to the studio, meet, dance, do what we love was really like drinking a glass of water after you were very thirsty. I know it sounds a bit like cliche, but this is really was like after this lockdown and was very meaningful and, and uh, strong and we really felt like this, what the piece should be about. It should be very physical, it should really express our need, um, but at the same time it really should ask questions about its future of our profession and about the, the the nature of this audience, performers, uh, routine, and is it s still necessary in our world and how it's supposed to exist? Thank you for the insight, um, very inspirational. It's always wonderful to see, to meet people and know people that have a purpose with what, who they are and what they want to achieve and it's very, it comes across very clearly and so thank you. Thank you again to the people from the match and to Ruby and Ofra and I wish you all all such a um, that the dreams with this whole effort come to fruition. Yes. I know it's not easy, but it's easy for me to say it's not easy. You will get more. <laughs> Great to see you as well, and uh, really nice to see you. It's also like yeah, to to come to come together again. And also, so. it feels a little bit like uh, like it remind me how much like we are still a community, even though we are so far, and, and now we are even like further. Like we, it's not so easy to meet. Like uh, when you are in the other side of the world, it feels like a community, and we are sharing so much in common. So it's great. And yes, thanks to Mahol Shalem very much for allowing yes. this meeting to happen.